The Democratic Party has accused the Bush administration of valuing wealth over hard work and lavishing special treatment on a fortunate few at the expense of working people. But this week, the Democrats themselves are working hard to raise big money from big donors, and it's a relationship they don't much want you to see. Ryan Ross remains on the money trail. High above Denver, in a penthouse suite, this Democratic convention few people, even delegates, ever see. A private gathering for the party's wealthiest, thrown by the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. It's part of the convention package for what's called the Pelosi 100, individuals who contribute or raise $100,000 in personal funds for the party. To flaunt the fact that there is a higher elite class of people who are big political donors who've reached that status because they have more money feels fundamentally undemocratic. Yet the Democrats are running an elaborate VIP program here, rewarding their fat cats, the people who wear the credential finance guests, offering luxury perks and privileges, and praise from party chairman Howard Dean. You have helped us put in the business plan for winning elections. The VIP package includes the best hotel rooms and private meals of top lawmakers who control the House and the Senate. They are events the party of the working class apparently does not want reporters to see. On Wednesday, ABC News producer Asa Esbacher was trying to cover a private VIP breakfast at the Brown Palace Hotel when he was ordered off the public sidewalk. Later, a team of police really showed up to arrest Esbacher after throttling him around the neck. A cigar smoking sergeant then put him in handcuffs. He was charged with trespassing and failure to follow a lawful order. You're under arrest, Buster. But hours after posting bond last night, Eslaka was back on the World News money trail. He was able to get in with his camera to the hottest ticket in town this week where reporters were not supposed to go. A concert featuring hip-hop star Kanye West, put on by big entertainment companies, including ABC parent Walt Disney, all with major issues pending before Congress and the FCC. West concert tickets can often go for as much as several thousand dollars. But last night, they were being handed out by company lobbyists to great lawmakers and staff. Federal also has banned lobbyists from his campaign. Others in the Democratic Party say they are key to the so-called business plan. And the latest figures that the Democrats have raised was a $1.2 billion for all their candidates. That's lobbyist dollars included, Charlie. All right, Brian Ross, our chief investigative reporter. Again, on the money trail. Up 